folks, Greg Aaron here with Checker Flag Tires again. Today I want to explain to you in the most basic of terms how the beads work. I don't want to get into copyright issues over fancy illustrations, fancy animations, or any of that nonsense. Okay, it's just not worth my time. What I will do is I will take my little Sharpie and I'm going to do it in a very simple manner that hopefully nobody will have any issues with. Okay, <laughs> let's cross our fingers. All right, here we go. Sharpie, paper. When the beads, when the, I should say when the vehicle is at a standstill, the beads just sit at the bottom of the tire. Okay, there's nothing uh, big about that. When we start to move and we're under 30 miles an hour, and that's uh, kind of a rule of thumb, a generality. Sometimes the beads start to work a little sooner. Sometimes they start to work a little you know, later than 30 miles an hour. It depends on the car, the tire, the balance situation, the whole thing. But anyway, under 30 miles an hour, the beads are going to spread around the tire nice and evenly. Okay? You're not going to hear this. You're not going to feel this. You don't have to worry about that. I get a lot of questions all the time about, hey, am I going to hear these beads? And the answer is no, you're not going to hear them. All right. Now, over 30 mile an hour, we have the heavy spot in the tire. And the heavy spot moves up faster, starts to move up faster and harder with more force than the rest of the tire, of course, which creates the vibration. Okay? The beads resist this vibration and start to move away from it, okay? What you end up with is this. The beads have moved to a point opposite the heavy spot. No vibration. That's it. And when the vehicle comes to a stop, the beads fall wherever they are and the process starts all over again every time you leave a stop sign or a stoplight. Okay, not a big deal. Anyway, that is explained in, like I say, the most simplest of terms. There is a mathematical equation out there that's huge. You know, it's like a paragraph long. I won't even try to explain it because I'm not a mathematician. So I'm just going to leave it at what I just showed you and hopefully that'll work for you. And if it doesn't, that's fine. Give me a call, email me. It's all right. I'm here and I'm ready to talk. All right, folks, that's it for, uh, for this short little explanation. You guys have a great day.